Hi, I'm Raja, and I'm going to be talking about Black Lives Matter from my Upstander badge. So, what is Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter is an international activist movement originating in the African American community that campaigns against violence towards black people. So now let's learn how it all began. In 2013, an African American 17 year old Trayvon Martin was killed by a member of Neighborhood Watch, George Zimmerman. The police told Zimmerman not to pursue Trayvon for looking suspicious. He didn't listen and fatally shot him. There was a lot of racial bias during the trial and Zimmerman was acquitted for the crime. In response, Black Lives Matter was formed. Aims and Objectives of BLM Movement The movement seeks to eradicate white supremacy, stop violence inflicted on black communities, and create a safe space for black communities. It also speaks out against police brutality for all the thousands of victims wrongly treated by the police. The statement Black Lives Matter refers to a Twitter hashtag, an anthem, a slogan, and a social movement for racial justice. It has grown to become a global movement, an international human rights movement to combat racism in modern day society. Some people question the BLM protesters that don't all lives matter, but they are actually missing the point of what the whole movement is all about. It is better to think of it as Black Lives Matter, too. This is the Black Lives Matter flag that I drew. The clenched fist is a gesture for liberation for those in the black community in the ongoing fight against racism. The Black Lives Matter movement adopted the powerful symbol following the killing of Michael Brown in misery in 2014. What BLM means to me. As a Muslim, I fully support this movement as oppression of any faith and race is against the teachings of Islam. Allah says in the Quran, O mankind, surely we have created you from a male and a female and divided you into nations and tribes so that you may know one another. Surely the noblest of you with Allah is most beautiful of you. Surely Allah is knowing aware. So now, Let's look at some facts about blacks in the U.S. We can see here that the black unemployment rate is well above the rate for white people. This chart shows us that the African American race has the highest killing rate at the hands of police. Here is a picture collage of some of the victims over the years. Tamir Rice, killed in 2014. He was playing with a toy gun in the park when a police officer fatally shot him. Eric Garner was killed in 2014. They thought he was selling cigarettes illegally. A police officer choked him to death. Botham Jean was shot in 2012 by an off-duty police officer when he was eating ice cream in his apartment. Stephon Clark, in 2018, was shot 20 times in his grandmother's backyard. Police thought he was holding a gun, but he was actually holding just a cell phone. George Floyd was killed on May 25, 2020. His death is the latest tragic incident in the black community. They thought he was using a fake $20 bill. The police officer handcuffed him and knelt down on his neck for a few minutes. George kept pleading, I can't breathe but the officer didn't listen to him, and he sadly passed away. His death sparked Black Lives Matter protests all over the country. About 26 million people participated in the 2020 BLM protests in the in U.S., making Black Lives Matter one of the largest movements in U.S. history. It is encouraging that many people are now standing up for justice. This is why it is important to be an upstander because it helps stop hate and will eventually help save lives. Standing up for social justice is also our divine duty. With so much racism still going on, it seems that Martin Luther King's dream has yet a long way to go. Thank you for listening to my speech.